that notification bell. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Sharonda, AKA CC Rhonda here. On today's video, I am going to be doing the OMAD challenge. Yes, the OMAD challenge, which is one meal a day challenge. And um, so for many of you who may not know, um, I'm on a new adventure, a new weight loss journey. I am actually prepping for surgery on December the 21st. I will be getting a liposuction 360 along with a BBL and I am super excited, super excited. So the surgeon I'm going with is located in Miami, Florida, but I have to have a BBI of a 34 below. Yes, yeah, so I'm going through this weight loss journey right now. I'm trying to lose some pounds because I'm trying to get down to like a 31 or 32. I already know I can do it. I've been losing weight the way I've been losing it, but I'm trying to lose it a little more quicker. So I'm going to be doing the OMAD um, challenge and I am actually, you know, some people does it for like a week or, but I'm actually going to be doing it for 60 days up until it's time for me to you know, go in for my surgery because I'm like basically preparing for it and I'm like super, super excited. Um, you know, some people may be like, well, why do you want to do that? And all this and all that. Well, it's my body and that's just something that I chose I want to do. I want to feel more confident, that sort of thing. And yeah, I need to get this weight off ASAP. So I'm going to do it that way and I'm going to do it my the natural way along and I'm going to get some help. And so many may ask, like, what do I do? What I'm going to be doing is, during the day, I'm going to be drinking lots and lots of water. So much water. It's going to be, like, so awesome. I actually just actually changed my diet. Um, I was actually doing the three-day military diet. Mm -hmm. I, I did pretty well. I did it for a week. I lost about nine pounds. So that was pretty exciting, but now I want to do the OMAD, so pretty psyched to see the results, so I'm about to weigh myself. Yeah, I'm about to weigh myself, about to get dressed, weigh myself, and I'm going to see where I'm at now, and then, yeah, we're going to re back up tomorrow, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to eat for, for dinner. So I'm going to start prepping dinner, maybe like around 2-ish. Okay. I am 255.8. Okay, I got some ways to go, but I'm going to get there. Okay, guys, so here's the meal that I ate. I had a crab cake. I had a piece of salmon, three pieces of shrimp, some string beans with about four pieces of potatoes, and I had some brown fried rice. It was really awesome. Extra delicious. And that's all I ate for that day. And here is about two other meals that I made. They was really good, high in protein, and pretty darn good healthy, I might say. Also, and here is the before and after pic. As you can see, I lost a push in my stomach. Okay, guys, so here I go. And my weight is two fifty two point six. Wow. Yeah, guys. So that was pretty exciting, right? Yeah, it was pretty exciting for me too. Like to lose two pounds in a day, just even to just like what I was doing, testing it out, all that good stuff. But I'm gonna continue with it and everything because I'm like really psyched about it and all that good stuff. I'm so psyched about it, and I will be sharing my journey with you guys. Yeah, so last time I posted a video was like eight months ago, right? It was pretty a while ago. A long time yeah, ago. Yeah, that was a long time ago, but I look, life happened, a lot of stuff was going on. COVID, might I add, um, 
I know a lot of you wanted to know about the daycare. I was supposed to have been doing like an update on the daycare, showing you guys how to get started with little to no money down over here, that type of thing. I'm no longer doing the daycare, but I will most definitely. I actually have a video coming up for you guys on this Thursday, which goes over how to start a daycare from scratch, even if you don't have a large income. Because mind you, when I started the daycare center, I had just, I was practically homeless. I just moved into my place and I didn't have any money. I wasn't working or anything. Like, I was really struggling when I started the daycare. And I started it with like literally no money at all. I didn't have any money. Of course, once I got money from, you know, doing a daycare, I started adding to the daycare, which made it better. I want to but, tell you guys about that in the next video. Um, well, not exactly the next video, but on Thursday. Just be looking out for it on thursday so i want to tell you guys about what i have going on right now so what i'm doing right now is i'm currently i just enrolled into full sale university i will be studying sports and journalism media and i am so excited about it like journalism is my passion it's me everything artistic concerning journalism acting voiceover that's all me like that's my background i grew up in the arena players theater as a kid um i was there from elementary until i finished high school and that was practically my life as a kid like literally like that was my way of escaping a lot of things i went through when i was a kid and all that other stuff so yeah so like that's basically my passion and everything and when i actually started like really really started journalism okay when i graduated from high school i started in theater i went to school for theater all that good stuff and i dived some more into journalism but writing has always been my passion i always was a good writer even as a kid coming up um yeah i won a lot of rewards and throughout school and stuff like that as far as my writing and all that good stuff but i went to the new school of radio and television which is located in Albany, New York. It is a great school, and I highly recommend it for anybody in the New York area or the New York Tree State area who's interested in journalism, broadcasting, producing, all that good stuff. That is an excellent school to go to. It's an excellent trade to take up. And I learned a lot when I was there. Like, they actually had us doing actual stuff. So, like a day would be like you know like we had an actual studio that we worked in on every day right from the teleprompter because my studies was broadcast journalism so i can talk about what i did um every day we i read from a teleprompter i went over there there was times where i had an assignment to go out in the field i went to real live games reported real life stories at like high school colleges sporting events, entertainment events, you name it. I was there. I did all of that, and it was so much fun. Literally so much fun. And you learn a lot from it because you're actually hands-on with it. So that was pretty exciting and everything. And that's how I got into voiceover acting. That's basically what I got going on, like, guys. That is my update. I know you guys was probably expecting me to be talking a lot about the daycare on this video, but that is coming out on Thursday. You guys will hear all about that. I do miss my daycare. I do miss my daycare kids. They was awesome, but God is redirecting me in another direction. Yes, it's pretty much an old direction. Um, I was hitting that route maybe a few years ago before I became homeless that's another story i became homeless um shortly after my grandmother died things got really difficult and hard and everything and i endured homeless so i couldn't really focus on my school along with my journalism career that sort of thing mind you though while i was at the new school of radio and television i was actually homeless Yes, I was homeless, living in Albany, New York. But I didn't let that stop me. I still focused on the new school already on television. And it was pretty exciting and everything. But uh, things got a little harder after that. And I had to put a pause on it. 
but I'm back with all fours and ready to get it started again and this time finish. So I'm pretty excited about that and all that other good stuff. I am no longer homeless. I'm about to show you guys a tour of my home. This is actually a tour when I first moved in. So sit back and watch. New place, y'all. Yes, bathroom, a nice washer and dryer. Guest bedroom. Well, actually, this is my godmother's bedroom. And when I have my other godkids, sometimes they'll be over. A nice little linen closet. This is my bedroom. It's a nice walk-in closet. All of my good shoes. A nice bed. And that's the tour, guys.